Hey, this is Doc Griffin, your swing surgeon, director of club fitting, and yes, it's time again for the doctor's house call. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about stopping the insanity. And I think you're all pretty much uh, aware of the definition of what insanity is, but for those of you who aren't, uh, let me just give you a real brief description. Insanity can be summed up and summarized as continuing to do the same old thing and expecting different results. So in the perspective of club fitting and golfing, uh, let's put insanity in a little bit more of a succinct uh, description and say that insanity is continuing to go into a golf shop, a retail store, internet or wherever and trying to buy equipment that helps you play better golf. Uh, retailers and the equipment manufacturers count on you being insane in that respect that you will continually try the newest, the latest, the greatest, the biggest, the bestest, whatever in order to improve your golf game. Um, to put it very bluntly, it is difficult to play good golf with bad equipment. And we're not talking about quality, I'm talking about in respect to equipment that fits you. Um, let's, let's take another sport, bowling. You've got a 98 pound woman, five feet tall, um, very weak upper body and you're going to teach her to bowl and you give her a 16 pound bowling ball. Now all of you listening to this video I'm sure would go, you know, that's ludicrous. There's no way that she could bowl good bowling with that golf or with that bowling ball. And you're right, it would be very, very difficult for her to do that. Uh, conversely, you take a uh, 250 pound man that's uh, really, really strong, can bridge press 400 pounds, give him an eight pound bowling ball and have him go ball. Uh, it ball would fly halfway down the lane before it ever hit and roll. So, okay, uh, equipment must be important in bowling. Okay, let's say you take up archery and you're gonna shoot arrows and try to hit the bullseye, but I give you a crooked arrow. You won't hit the bullseye. Let's say I give you a bow that's got too, uh, too strong a tension. You won't even be able to pull it back. So, okay, uh, equipment must be good in archery. Now I could go on and on and on about it and, and name for every sport how equipment is important and you would agree with me. But yet when it comes to golf, this seems to be the only time that American men will take credit or fault, I should say, for something and then it's misplaced because it's not your fault. You're going, well, you know, it's a bad shot. I can't hit, I can't play, I'm no good. But you never want to even consider the fact that, hey, it really could be your equipment. I've told the story before about uh, Don and having a student and we were doing this uh, teaching in a fitting here um, and Don came and got me and says you just need you need to go do the fitting now uh, the guy is struggling and, and I need a break so I went over there started doing the fitting and uh, Serge came in a few minutes later and, and looked and the guy was swinging totally different he says what did you do I said I simply put him in a club that he could swing and he went from struggling to make a golf swing with his equipment to making a beautiful swing, getting a good shot, and uh, overall good results with a club that fit him. Um, if you have a club that's too light, uh, it can cause you to come over the top. If you have a club that's too heavy, it can cause you to drop in and dig. Um, you have a club that's too upright, uh, can cause the heel to hit and drag, or a club that's too flat, uh, the toe can hit and drag. Um, let's talk about a club that's way too long. There's no way that you can swing the club and drop and come in 
on playing the way that you're supposed to. So one of the biggest compensations for trying to swing a club that's too long, you got to come out and over and across because the arc is longer coming this way and it will accommodate the longer swing. So yeah, guys, equipment does make a difference in how well you play golf. Now I know a lot of you, this isn't anything new, but maybe it'll hit home. And, and I know we've got some new viewers out there, so we're trying to stress and get the point across. Hey, stop the insanity, particularly with your golf. You wanna play better golf? You got to get equipment that fits you. Well, that's it for the Doctor's House Call this week. We appreciate your support. Thanks for finding us over on the new site. And if you have friends uh, or people that you know that are still going over to the other site, please inform them that the new site is www.swingsurgeon.com and ask them to come join us and bookmark the page. Until next week, keep it vertical. And remember, better golf is just a fit away.